guys welcome back to our youtube channel welcome. i'm jessica and i'm jennifer and today we're talking about how to grow your edges back or your hairline especially when it is damaged. damaged so the first tip i'm going to talk about to grow your edges back is what exactly are your hair care practices you know most of the time in people's hair care practices they don't necessarily include massaging your scalp and this is such an important part of your hair care practice you always have to massage your scalp like almost every other day we use our hair growth oil mix and we just massage our scalp every day and I feel like you actually have to when you're shampooing your hair you're in the shower get a scalp massager and, and massage your scalp because this helps to stimulate growth massaging your scalp just allows the blood to flow easily and despite whatever you're using even if it's rice water even if it's a deep conditioner try and always massage it into your scalp so it actually penetrates yeah. So moving on from massaging, the next step you should probably take is use products that stimulate hair growth. Yeah. Now this is really important, like we said, we actually have a hair growth oil mix and I'll be telling you guys, linking it down below the hair growth oil mix, how to make it step by step and I'll be telling you guys now three products that absolutely will grow your edges back. So like I said, the first one is the hair growth oil. So the hair growth oil mix is a mixture of essential oils and carrier oils and all of this paired together really helps stimulate hair growth. We put a lot of powerful oils like we add fenugreek oil which is known to grow your hair, we add peppermint oil, rosemary yeah. oil, all of this really help open up the follicles to bring in that, the new growth. Now the second product which is actually a master product especially for natural hair women is aloe vera yeah. and I'm talking about the natural aloe vera. We always use the aloe vera gel which yes. is we use that instead of gel to slick down our edges but I would recommend getting the aloe plant. vera plant. I recommend actually chopping up the aloe vera and putting it in the jar, storing it in the fridge for about two weeks so that you could use it anytime to slick your edges down or to just put it on your scalp and massage it into your scalp. Then the last product that will actually helps your edges to come back are supplements. If you feel like your hair has been damaged and you're starting from scratch to try and grow, to go, try and grow hair through those follicles once again, it's best to take some supplements. Yeah. So I would actually recommend your biotin tablets, your hair, skin, nail tablets, your um, MSM tablets, your fish oil tablets. Get anything in there that really increases the protein yeah, in your body. collagen tablets as well. Yeah, collagen tablets actually help. That would help the new growth in those areas that are lacking. So the next point that I'm going to bring up is if you actually want to take all these tips in but you're still going to keep your old practices, you're not going to really see any results. You actually have to get rid of high manipulation hairstyles, tight hairstyles, tight bonds, um, tight braids. Hairstyles are really going to tug and pull at your edges. They are a no-no. You actually have to stop and you're going to actually have to probably not wear wigs for a while, especially if your wigs are tight. You have to avoid wearing tight wigs and try and get rid of um, wearing weaves that are going to even be tight and pull at your um, pull at your edges yeah. because you actually have to allow your hairline to breathe. So you're going to actually have to stop that for like let me say three to six months if you're going to take in these practices and you really want to see results. The next thing you need to take into account to grow back your edges is to stop using any products that contain chemicals. Now you could actually stop or you could really minimize how much you use them. And I'm talking about chemicals within wig glues and alcohols that actually take off the wig glues and chemicals in hair dyes and even also your relaxers. Now we are relaxed but we use the relaxer sparingly and once we've actually put it on our hair, we wash it off in a maximum of 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. So you actually need to be careful because these chemicals really break down your hair, break down the shaft and actually destroy the follicles sometimes. And these weak glues and weak um, weak glues and the alcohols can be so damaging yeah. that it's I mean, irreversible yeah. in the results that it gives you. I mean there have been a couple of YouTube girls that have come forward to actually talk about their experience using the weak glues. They've pretty much lost like I would say two inches of their edges over time of using weak glues. So I'll say do research if you're using a, a certain brand of a weak glue, I would say type it up on YouTube and see other people's reviews of it because it can actually cause you to start thinning, thinning out at your edges. Yeah and I would actually suggest you use more organic products if you actually want to glue 
down your hair or if you want to gel down your hair there are some aloe vera gels that are best healthier for your scalp or for your hair and there are some other products that are a lot more gentler on your hairline yeah. and your scalp so another tip that actually you have to take into account if you're trying to grow back your edges is you actually have to switch up your partings. I feel like this is an underestimated tip and it happened to me. Guys, I started to lose hair on this side of my hair. This is my good side. So I always did my side parting on this side and this is my not so good side. So I started to notice from me slicking down this side, for me brushing it every day, um, putting some gel on it, on Almost every other day Stress I started to see it said to thin out until now this side of my hair is thicker and I said to try and make the transition to actually work with this side of my hair every other day so there's not so much pressure on this side it still hasn't yet gotten back to be as thick as this side was a bit better but I see so many girls talk about this like it's something that is underestimated but you have to actually pay attention to don't put so much stress on just one side of your hair so just try and switch up patterns from time to time. Yeah. So the next step to actually grow your edges back or get back your hairline is always having protected. And when I say protected, I mean always having a bonnet, a silk pillowcase or a silk scarf that you're using at night when you go to bed. Most of the time our hair is, during the day is constantly having friction and this really dries it out and this makes it break off. Yeah. And most of the time when you sleep, even if you're just lying on your bed casually on like a cotton pillowcase, that seriously dries out your hair and it makes it prone to breakage. So whenever you're going to sleep, no matter how tired you are, you need to protect your edges. Wear your bonnet, you know, sleep on some kind of silk that is going to protect your edges and your hairline. So the next tip for actually getting your edges back is to actually pay attention to what goes on inside. Whatever goes on inside affects what goes on outwards. So that includes your diet and that includes your level of hydration. So if you're going through issues with your scalp right now, I would actually suggest a specific kind of diet for you that includes a lot of protein and a lot of iron. This includes salmon because it has omega-3 fatty acids. It includes nuts which has protein and biotin. It includes eggs which has zinc and iron. It includes carrots which has vitamin A. And that also includes poultry which is good protein for you. Having a balanced diet like this also with increased hydration of water actually helps you outwards with your hair, your skin and your nails. So if you actually are really suffering from your edges being damaged or postpartum shedding or you just have really lost your edges, I'm just going to explain certain practices you can do. Um, it's well known to actually get it, create an aloe vera hairspray to spray on your hair regularly. So this is just chopping up the aloe vera plant and um, you actually blend it in a blender, put it in a hairspray bottle and you can keep this in the fridge. You can use it repeatedly. We you can also infuse rose water into Yeah, it. we actually put rose water in it we also even do a fenugreek hairspray as well so you could actually spray this around your edges or even your whole scalp this really helps to actually grow back your edges um, another practice that we do is we also massage every single night our hair growth oil if you don't have a hair growth oil you could use the Jamaican black castor oil it's well known to grow back your edges so just massage it into your scalp for about maybe even like 15 to 20 seconds every single night before you go to sleep and make sure you put your bonnet or your silk scarf on afterwards and just try to leave your hair alone try to stop over brushing because you're dealing with damaged edges you don't want to put any more pressure on it if you're actually taking these tips you will actually see results with bring back your edges yes so these are the tips that we have for you guys if you guys have any suggestions on how people can grow back their edges on practices we can do for our hairline please leave it down below in the comment section Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you can and we'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.